At a separate engagement with the clergy and Muslim leaders, Dr. Baumia stated that government is committed to completing a multi-purpose dam to cultivate 20,000 hectares of arable land. The completed project would generate power and collect excess water from Bagri Dam, thereby preventing perennial flooding. No doubt in my mind that I was championing the Kualugu Dam. We have not yet been able to do it. But by the grace of God, I believe we are going to do the Kualugu Dam. On education, Dr. Baumia stated that the NPP government has made the most significant improvements in education sector despite global economic challenges. We've invested six billion for existing TV. We have brought free TV education to Ghana. That has now increased TV enrollment from 60,000 to 159,000 students. On health, the NPP flag bearer said government is in discussion with the Ministry of Health and other stakeholders to include dialysis treatment under the National Health Insurance Scheme, similar to its approach to sickle cell patients. One of the things that we are now starting to do at the ministry, uh, the National Health Insurance Authority uh, has, is releasing some money for this, is to look at dialysis patients uh, because we are seeing a lot of kidney problems that are in there for a lot of our uh, citizens across the country. And so what we are aiming to do is to bring dialysis treatment under the NHIS, just like we've done for hydroxyurea for sickle cell sufferers.